I've just woken up and I've decided I'm gonna take the next flight out of the country and see where I end up. <laughs> this is mental. Guess we better head to the airport. The next flight is to Dublin, but I'm gonna get the one five minutes later to Parma. That's decided then. We're going to Spain. This should be fun. First thing I need to do is get a ticket. Through security, I think I've managed to find a hostel. Two nights. Not even one, we're going for two. I now basically have three hours to kill until my flight. I think this is going to be good for me because I struggle to do things spontaneously. I really feel like I have to plan everything down to a T. The fact that I've not planned anything for this really does make me feel quite anxious. Thank you. Bye. Okay, we have arrived in Parma or Mallorca or Palma de Yorka. I don't really know where I am to be honest. Gotta try and find out how to get to the city centre now. Just gonna take one of these buses, which I think is about to leave right now. Gracias. Right, I'm off the bus. That was a short trip. Just gonna have a little walk about, try and find somewhere to eat, because it is now dinner time. Look at the palm trees, the sea just beyond that. This is weird, isn't it? This is weird to just hop on a plane and go somewhere. for a meal then. Made a slight error in that I went to a fancy meat restaurant dressed in a t-shirt and shorts with a backpack. Stood out like a sore thumb. 17 euros for a steak because that was the cheapest thing on the menu. The restaurant was like yeah how do you want your steak cooked and I was just like cook it just cook it as long as it's cooked just, just put it in the oven. And now I've got to try and check into the hostel wherever that is. Met a couple of guys at the hostel who seem nice. Uh, overall, hostel seems pretty decent. Very lively, a lot of activity. As soon as I walked in, in the front entrance, two people just fully going for it. it. Not in that way, but just getting off with each other. We were five minutes away from them ripping the clothes off, I'm sure. Aside from that, it's a nice place. 10 o'clock at night, just doing an ice cream. Mmm. You know you're on a holiday when it's 10 o'clock at night and you're having an ice cream. It's weird to see people on the beach at this sort of time, 10 o'clock on a Wednesday. My challenge tomorrow is to try and lean into this whole sort of spontaneous thing. It's tricky though, it's tricky, but particularly when you're by yourself, you've got to make an effort. Yeah, it's just quite dark, you can't really see a lot. That there in the distance is some sort of like gothic cathedral thing. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like this place's most iconic landmark thing. Looks a bit like the Hogwarts castle. These palm trees are nice, aren't they? We need more palm trees in the UK, I've always said that. We're walking through Scunthorpe and there's just palm trees everywhere. I just think the place would be better for it. It's a worthwhile investment if you're listening, government. I mean, that's all well and good. Have that. Have that if you want. Where's your bins, though? Well, I've, I've been walking for ages. You can't find a bin. You're along the promenade or whatever they call it. Have some bins. Okay, so I haven't been completely honest with you so far. You see, this isn't me getting out of my bed this morning. This isn't me packing my bag this morning. This was filmed yesterday morning when I attempted to do this for the first time and bottled it. I'm actually really struggling to do this. How pathetic is this? Where is this coming from? I'm fine with, with trips that I book. Like, I don't have this issue usually. It's just like the unknown of not having a plane, not having a hotel, not having anything. Oh God, that's this is so pathetic. <laughs> So yeah, this trip was actually surprisingly tough to find the confidence to do, but bottling it the day before actually made me more determined to do it the next day. It's day two, I uh, got through the night. I actually slept fairly well, I'd say. Uh, not particularly early start this morning. Take it nice and slow, we're not here to do loads and loads of stuff. We're just here to have a relaxed time. I'm off to go get some breakfast first of all, then we'll head to the beach. That croissant was incredible, absolutely incredible. I got some granola. Okay, breakfast done. Very nice, actually, with that. Full to the brim. And now I'm gonna head to the beach, and I think we'll go do some of the sightseeing stuff. And then we'll just sort of see where the day takes us, really.
trying to decide whether to go in or not. I've not brought a towel with me. Not brought a change of clothes or anything. Nothing to dry myself off with. I mean, I want to go in, but I don't know. I'm tempted to go for a little paddle. But I also don't like sand as well, so I'm not sure. It's very tempting. Go on, mate. shoes on it's not like I've got sandals or anything so I do have a tissue which is like a mini towel in a way isn't it <laughs> so I could use that to wipe both my feet do you know what I've not done a bad job at that I know people don't like feet or whatever some people do some people like them a bit too much but I've taken quite a lot of sand off there I'm happy with that and just like that both of my feet are back in shoes. Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird, but I'm pretty proud of myself on that one. Because usually I just go, no, I won't go in the sea because it's too much of a faff or I haven't brought a towel. You find excuses. Instead, I'm, I've solved it. It's been spontaneous. I mean, how incredible is that there? Wow. Fantastic. I didn't even see that there was all this water next to it as well. Aside from the jackhammer that's right next to me. It's quite a nice area, this. Just asked a couple if they wanted me to take a picture of them, they just went, no. <laughs> Fine, you struggle and take a selfie of yourself then. Middle-aged people can't take pictures, we all know this. I've had a decent look around some of these streets. I think I'm gonna go get something to eat now. Or maybe I'll just get an ice cream. I don't know, it's not actually that hungry. I didn't eat that long ago. It was only two hours since that big breakfast. Just walking around, seeing the sights, enjoying myself. had a fantastic pizza it was absolutely incredible uh, I know some people will be saying oh Ed you're in you're in Spain you, sh you should be having tapas no I'm very much against cultural appropriation I'm a progressive man what can I say any non-Spanish person eating tapas in Spain should be killed I'm a big believer in that it's how we move forwards towards a more progressive society sue me right just been inside the cathedral uh, it was nice it was all right you know good stained glass windows and all that not sure it was value for money though nine euros and I really wanted to like stretch my money as far as possible so I sat down for a bit, really took it all in and it only took me 20 minutes to go around. You could probably do it in 10 or 15. It's more the fact that you, you come out of it and straight into a gift shop. It's like, is that what Jesus would want? Straight into a gift shop, buy a pen, a postcard, a mug. But yeah, they cash in, don't they? That's what happens. That's their Eiffel Tower, is that? It's all right, this isn't it? Not bad. Decent palm trees everywhere, sun shining, blue skies girl over there is doing a TikTok. So, um, yeah, you know, this is paradise, isn't it? Looks decent though. The blues, the greens, the whites. That's the clouds. Yeah, that's not racial. Look at all these boats. These huge yachts, mega yachts. There's hundreds upon hundreds, maybe thousands. I haven't seen anything like it. Not as many as this. Like, you generally see a little boat and all that kind of stuff. It's nice. But you don't see this many. I mean, you can't see anything but sails in the distance. But they're all building, isn't it? Nothing in this one. Empty. Okay, we're off for the last meal of our time here. Probably gonna get a burger, I reckon. Bit of Spanish cuisine. A bit relaxed in the last hour. Went back to the hostel. 
But now, ready to feast. What a meal, what a final meal that was. Oh, that was more than just a burger. Very, very impressed. Oh, God. Just embracing this spontaneous lifestyle, the holiday lifestyle, for that little bit longer. And then back to the old routine. Back to Leeds. It's a bit, a bit of a change, isn't it? It's all right at night time, isn't it? Look at all that lit up. All the lights around this water here. I'll try not to fall in. The trip's coming to an end. What a trip it's been. Short one, packs quite a lot in. I'm more impressed by the outside of it than the inside, to be honest. I'd pay nine pounds to look at it. I wouldn't pay nine to go back in, to be honest. Even though the stained glass windows, they were lovely. They were very nice. They were bloody lovely. Keep up all the staining of the glass and all that. But that outside, I wonder if JK sort of based it on this, I don't know. As the night drew in and we approached the end of the trip, I actually felt like I'd achieved something. Yeah, I just went abroad or whatever, but this was always something I'd wanted to do. It was a bucket list item for me, and overcoming that fear of not having everything planned out felt good. And in the last few days, me being 23, it rounds off what's been the best year of my life. Never too old for a camera, son. I grew up in a small little village With hardly anybody in